China and Russia criticized Israel as divisions with the West sharpened. Chinese leader Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin shakes hands after signing a joint statement during Xi's state visit to Moscow in March 2023. Beijing CNN Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met in Beijing Tuesday at the start of the Xi Jinping's party to underscore the two leaders' shared vision. vision for the new international order no longer be dominated by the United States and its democratic allies. This meeting between the world's two most powerful autocrats comes as a geopolitical fault lines that hurt them globally. First, following Russia's grinding invasion of Ukraine launching just three weeks after the leader last meeting in the Chinese capital in 2022, and now, as Israel's war against the Palestinian militant group Hamas threatened to spiral into a broader conflict that could sh shatter stability in the Middle East, both the Beijing and Moscow have criticized Israel's actions and called it for a ceasefire in the latest showing, showing of the two powers' efforts our effort to step up their alternative leadership to that of the U.S., which affirms the Israel's ongoing right to retaliate. The meeting between the two men comes as it was confirmed. U.S. President Joe Biden would travel to Israel on Wednesday. Biden is, Biden is expected to give a high-profile show of support for Israel as it attempts to eliminate Hamas while the U.S. pressed for ways to ease humanitarian suffering in Gaza and warns other regional players about becoming further engaged in the conflict. Xi and Putin were expected to discuss the situation in Gaza during their meeting this week after Putin arrived Tuesday morning as a guest of honor at the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing. On an exceptionally rare for, for foreign trip for the demo, uh, diplomatically isolated leader, heads of state representatives and de delegations from more than 140 countries are expected to attend China's landmark two-day diplomatic event beginning Tuesday, which marks 10 years since the start of Xi's global infrastructure funding drive and the present the Chinese leader with the opportunity to project the Beijing's growing global um, ambitions. <clears throat> Russian President Vladimir Putin arrived in Beijing on Tuesday. He is expected to meet with the Chinese leader Xi Jinping and attend the third Belt and Road Forum. Push for peace. The timing of the Beijing hosted forum coming as Israel signals it may launch the ground invasion of the Hamas government the Gaza Strip, present Putin with the opportunity to shift the global spotlight away from his war in Ukraine, analysts say. Moscow is expected to tra table a United Nations Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire without naming Hamas with the UN envoy on Friday comparing the day after day shelling of Hamas controlled Gaza by Israel to the brutal siege of the Leningrad during World War II. At the other end of the historical spectrum, US President Joe Biden this weekend described the Hamas attack as the worst massacre of Jews, Jews since the Holocaust. China has said that it will send each envoy to the Middle East to encourage talks and condemn all acts that harm civilians, but it has not explicitly, explicitly targeted that condemnation at Hamas, nor named the group in each statement. During a fury of a diplomatic calls in recent days, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said Israel's actions have gone beyond the scope of self-defense. Both countries' statements stand in contrast to 
the data of the U.S., which has made clear its sound to support for Israel uh, and signaled it does not feel this does not feel this is the appropriate moment for the ceasefire. The conflict will likely feature in Xi and Putin's upcoming meeting, according to a Kremlin. Russia's war in Ukraine is also likely to be discussed by the two leaders. In that conflict, too, China has tried to position itself as the potential mediator. But when it comes to China's interest in pushing the Russian leader to end his invasion, she may not cautious not to take any step that could damage relations. That especially as he is likely watching a potential shift in global positions on the conflict amid signs of changing attitude, at least in some parts of Europe and an upcoming election in the United States left next year could trigger a significant shift in the level of U.S. support for Ukraine. So far, we don't see any sign that China is keen to use its upper hand to put pressure on Russia, said Li Ming Chang, associate professor of international relations at Singapore's Nanyang Technical Technological University. Chinese policymakers don't need, don't want to see even the slightest level of distrust between Beijing and Moscow. A rare trip. Putin, who has seldom left the bloc of former Soviet nations since launching his war, is sh shunned by the West and wanted by the International Court for alleged war crimes. Experts say he is also unwilling to travel anywhere. He feels his per personal security can't be if absolutely assured. He made his first non trip of the year outside of a Russian controlled territory last week, last week with a visit to Kyrgyzstan. But despite Putin's changing circumstances since his last time in Beijing, the two leaders have become increasingly aligned in presenting an alternative worldview to the one offered by the West, as he, they seek to bring more countries alongside their effort to shift a global balance of power they feel is stacked against them. In the interview with the China state broadcaster ahead of the event, Putin lavished the praise on Xi calling the Chinese president steady, calm, pragmatic, and reliable, a true world leader, and hailing his unique approach of dealing with other countries that had shown no imposition or coercion, but rather provided others with the opportunities. The two leaders who frequently refer, refer to their close friendship have met 40 times in the past decade, including two twice since the start of the war in Ukraine. During their previous meeting in Beijing, Xi and Putin released a 5,000-word world joint statement declaring a partnership with no limit and underscoring their deep alignment against the West. Attending the forum will be a significant opportunity for Putin to achieve international expo exposure and show that Russia still has a strong friend in China, said Li in Singapore. And for China, having an important international player like Putin to join a P3 summit is also politically important, he added. Otherwise, the forum, the crowning event of Xi's diplomatic year is largely expected to include leaders from less influential, developing and middle-income nations. Chinese leader Xi Jinping inspects the honor guard at the Moscow Vnukovo airport on March 20, 2023. No limit, no more. Russia's invasion of Ukraine put the growing China-Russia relationship to the test, like no other event in recent history, placing Beijing under heavy scrutiny 
from Western nations for each close ties to each northern neighbor and raising questions about whether she had advanced knowledge of Putin's plan. Beijing has since claimed neutrality in the conflict and called it for peace in recent months, ramping up efforts to be seen as a potential peace broker. As concerns about each close ties with Russia further strained each relations with Europe and the United States. But the world's second largest economy has also become a key lifeline for the sanction ridden. Russia, which is now dependent on its good for good and energy purchases, and the two countries have depend depended their interactions across the range of areas since the start of the war. Last year, Russia and China saw record trade, which continued to grow in 2023. They have expanded security cooperation through more than joint military drills and robust. Of official dialogue, experts say, and continue to depend diplomatic ties, including those of Putin and Xi, who earlier this year chose a state visit to Moscow as the symbol, symbolically significant first foreign trip of his third term as China's president. China tries to rhetorically. And symbolically, to put a certain distance between itself and Russia when it comes to talking to Western audiences, said Alex Skabuek, director of the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center think tank in Berlin. But even if it's officially not dubbed a no limit partnership, the Russia-China relationship has become in real terms. Terms more solid, robust, and deep, he said. CNN's Alex Stenberg, Meng Chen Chang, and Richard Roth contributed reporting.